Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is me Farmer Envoy Extreme and here we are for episode 26 of our Let's Play series around Aston Park on Farm Simulator 19. If this is you're looking for, then please stay tuned. to be back and uh, first thing I do want to address is obviously the lack of videos over the last week or so I am recording this part on Saturday night going into Sunday so hopefully this should well Saturday going to Sunday morning should I say and hopefully this episode should be out today on Sunday if not it'll be out Monday and yeah, it's been about a week or so, six or seven days since I've last done a video, and that is because of a few things personally. Um, don't just live always too much, but I've been having some health problems. Uh, not many people know about it, only it's just perhaps a few set of people in the family community who I've talked to, you know who you are. And just, yeah, just a bit of health trouble, and I had to take some time off, and I wasn't in... What you would call in a fit state of being able to even just get online much and just even tell people about what's going on. So I'm sure some people are having, not always say worried, um, people worrying, but uh, querying, like people just questioning that, and that's perfectly fine, and that's just simple things, some health problems, and a few other things. But anyway, let's get back into farming and. 
We've done quite a bit of work off camera and I did this all before the health incident. And we've got the potatoes planted to and a we finished about uh, was about half two this morning we finished, so yeah, half two we finished, we've got up about six, we did some prep work here and some harvesting, we did a bit off camera. And I'll go over that in a moment, we'll just get this unfolded. But yeah, so the potatoes, as you can see, we've done 38. And there's a lot of spots where things haven't gone to plan. And I'll go to landscape mode and we'll have a look here. So, bits here we have already done. See, they're in the second growth state. A couple of little rows here and there, which like pretty much like blank spots, and that is because um, yeah, for some reason the potato planter did not want to work well with me, and we've had the same issue also with the forage harvester, and yeah, it just seemed to be when I was putting it down, turning it on, it seemed to like, skip over rows all of a sudden for some weird reason. Don't know quite what it is, but. Yeah, the equipment's been well maintained. Yes, it's a bit dirty, but we've mechanically repaired it a few times. Even more than we've actually necessarily had to do. Let's get out of there. So yeah, I'm not sure exactly what's going on there, but anyways. So we are going to get this cultivated, and that's because we did this in the last episode, I think. Sliced it, as it is now. We've lined it because it needed lined, then we reapply the fertilizer. So it's already got its two stages of fertilizer built into the soil already. Perhaps it's not how you do it in real life, but that's how we went about it for here and it seems to be doing well. And yeah. Also we harvested field 39. We got about ooh, about 45,000 of the years. And with the soybeans that we harvested, these two fields here, we got about, what was it, f uh, not f 80, 000, yeah, 80,000 litres of soybeans, something like that. And for, ooh, sorry, let's go back over here. And for the wheat on this field over here, we got about 350 or so thousand litres of wheat. Something like that, give or take, so yeah. Actually, a good hole. So yeah, we did very well. Uh, we've got all of this to harvest. Got all the soybeans on one, two, three, thirteen, fourteen, and sixteen to do, as well as forty. I think those are all soybeans, right? Yeah, it's all soybeans. And also got corn here that needs to be done. And yes, we've had some issues with the header as well for some reason. We've been having skipping some rows, not sure if it's the speed or what we're doing, but yeah, just seem to be having an issue. So hopefully it may um, recreate itself. Let's see how this does. Let's see it's struggling again. It seems to yeah, I'm not sure it's like what's going on with the header, but yeah, it just seems to be skipping quite Quite a bit. I'm not get the menu up here. Let's try that. Is it working out? Yeah. Yeah, it seems to be like a weird issue. Like sometimes it work, other times a yeah, touch with hood. Um, yeah, I think it. That then just how it could have been because I forgot to lower it, but yeah, we're doing well. We're harvesting at a nice speed of 11 miles an hour. And if we go faster, I think it will start skipping. Okay, it's not doing it this time. That's the thing, I have all these issues off camera, and as soon as I press record button, it's all working fine. Oh, you know what? I, I am not complaining. Not complaining in the slightest, and this chaff is going to be used to make signage. Obviously, in the last episode, I sort of did sort of hint out we should possibly get some signage done 
last night, but we just lost daylight. So yeah, that's why we started about, yeah, half, got up about six, had some breakfast and that, we was out in the field. Fertilising that by seven-ish, yeah, by the time we started, so yeah. So I feel sore, and yeah, I should get a decent amount of yieldage. It's not going to the water, should not have close. What's that? What's a stump? Get that taken care of. What's that over there? Have we missed a patch? Yeah. We haven't harvested this. What's that? Looks like soybeans or something. Let's just get the field info a sec. So, no idea what's going on here. Obviously this was done in the last episode, so I'm not sure quite what's going on, but... You know what? I am not going to... Yeah, I'm not completely in, just, you know, we're in. Yeah, still got bells of straw and hay, I think, there. That needs to be taken care of. Yeah, see, we're making very good progress now. For some reason. But yeah, with the mowing that bit, will be done today. We'll get a huge amount of grass. That's so we've got already a huge amount of straw, and that's not even including what we need to be picked up. I think at the moment we've got like 565,000 litres of straw. Straw apparently somewhere at the moment at 100 pounds. Liters at the lives of Bard. So, you know, be a pretty bad price, all things considering. So, yeah, make sure we get this picked up. There we go. So, yeah, I'll see a lot of things for speaking going on. I do apologize for, again, lack of communication, and, and I do sort of appreciate the people who say that I know. Yeah, my numbers have really been great. Uh, I didn't read well much. I knew, well, yeah, well, I'll say that. I think, was it about a month ago? We was very close to hit 4,000 hours months, but how YouTube works sometimes, it sort of takes off. Uh, people say different things. Sometimes it takes two or three days, sometimes it takes longer. But obviously, I have one tool I use. I don't know if you people use it. Uses it up. It's called um, BIQ. Where you sort of you monitor sort of your how your channel's performing and all that. Let's get this. Get yourself. So yeah, BIQ. I use that to obviously monitor my stats. And for about two days, it said I was eligible to have the um, YouTube partnership thing. And yeah, for some reason. Um, yeah, and they have went through on the YouTube's um, monetization page, so... Yeah, I'm not sure what what's going on there with that. But, yeah, anyways, hours has gone down. And to be honest, it was, was going to be close to obviously back in November of last year when... I started... Actually, what did I do? Well, yeah, I think I started doing farm some videos in December, I think it was, um... I don't know, this was on my sort of old channel name, um... Uh, yeah, I was doing a Crash Bandicoot 4 stream, a 12 hour stream on that. Going the wrong way. Uh, yeah, I've got tons of watch hours on that, and obviously, will we hit 4,000 4, watch hours within 12 months soon? Um, at the moment, see, when, I was first, when I was first started playing Farm Sim, doing videos, and I fell into that old trap of watching my house, watching myself like anything but now I just do the videos people enjoy them, people enjoy them, people don't and so be it I'm not forcing anyone to watch my videos and I really hope people enjoy the content I produce I know I've had a few comments lately that I've replied to um, Warco is one of them and yeah just I appreciate everyone's support in that and obviously Farm Sim 22 it's now, if this, if this video is out on Sunday, it's eight days away. If not, it's seven days away if it's released on Monday. And 
Oh yeah, I've got a few things planned um, with FS19 over the next seven or eight days. I'm getting back into the swing of things. I am taking it steady. That's I was going to start doing videos sooner, but I'm just going to take some precautions and that. Yeah, some precautions. And yeah, just take it steady. I know Farmington will always be there. And just sorry, yeah, you focus on your health, but out. And we smashed into the trailer. But, you know, I'm back into the swing of things when I'm constantly crashing into my own equipment. But yeah, sort of with videos and that. Addison Park will get wrapped up on Ravenport. Uh, with that, I have to accept a little bit, but I will be doing videos on that. And I do have some videos I really have in time and. I will say motivation, but yeah, it's being time managers. Life in that gets in the way at times. But, anywho, I'm going to take this and. Let's try, out, uh, yeah, let's try out our new bunker site. I know we got the one at the biogas plant and it holds quite a bit. But we'll see how much this holds. Let's see how we get over the bridge. And yeah, I do apologise if, if, if I sound a bit funny. Yeah, it's just at the moment, along with everything else going on. Got a bit of a sore throat as well, so I am taking it steady as well. So yeah, with plans for videos, um, add some part, perhaps another four or so episodes left in this, I think. Yeah, just sort of looking at how I want to wound this series off, and yeah, this is definitely one of my top series, and is it one of my top maps? Definitely, I wouldn't say it's my favourite, because it's hard, it's hard to pick you and favourite map. I've got a list of favourite maps, but no one that stands out best from the rest, because all the maps have their own perks, you've got like No Man's Land, and I've probably already said this before, where you sort of able to create your own farm setup in that, and then you've got like, maps by Egypt, with Spectacle Island in that, and yeah, it's just, yeah, with Spectacle Island, it's hand satisfied all maps by Egypt, you just have an far uh, <laughs> farmer's map um, by Mapper's Paradise, and I can, I can literally go one forever at Auction David, actually modding yeah just tons of awesome maps out there things like the maps by the shanty boys like the forestry maps um a few of maps i like on whole macro on 21 or 2020 i can't remember the actual name of it but yeah see we're unloading here and i think we could get a pretty decent volume image it's not it's wide but it's not really long so comes to compaction we will have to keep that in mind. Yeah, I was gonna do like a few loads here, like spread it across at the back. And once we get to I don't know something like close to a million litres I'll start compacting this with the new compactor equipment that we've got. And that's at the I think that's still at um, Malt House Farm. Also today, along with the harvesting and all that and field work We've got horses to do as well, and horses, and speaking of which, all of our animals are doing quite fine. Cows are cracking on the way with manure, sorry, pro pro not production, producing. Chickens, they're regular, they're on the second pallet now. Sheeps, uh, I think they're starting doing like the normal pallets, not armed pallets, so we're going to have to empty that at some point today. Yeah, this chicken out brought to farmhouse. I did have to. I forgot to check. I knew one had issues with filling up, and the other didn't. I think this one that had issues at Malt House Farm. Yeah, for some reason this one was filling up, and this one it was swapped around. So what I done now? But when it's empty, it's like nothing, and I brushed it against the pallet over here. Not the crates. These crates have no collision whatsoever. Just the pallet. And with the other ones at Brompton Farmhouse, we can pretty much almost sell these. It's a bit of chicken goop. Yeah, you can see that pallet's filled up. That was doing really well. And yeah, of course, it's got a bit of mess here and there, but it is what it is. So, 
let's tab all the way back over. So there, and that is 300,000 litres. Compaction, 1%. So yeah, what I'm going to do now is, I've chatted long enough now, I'm going to get a lot of this work here done. And yeah, I'll bring it all back folks when we start compacting this, I think. Hello folks and welcome back and we have been busy and we've done everything and we've actually done a bit more actually so we've got the corn like this all done as you can see over here all done yeah got a bit of patch of soybeans there and I think there's another patch of soybeans there don't worry we'll get that picked up and everything's just turned orange so that'll be ready to harvest in a moment yeah, here, um, a worker got a bit carried away, didn't manage to get all the cultivating done, but we can do that a bit off camera in a moment. But yeah, let's talk about this. So, we've managed to fill this silo, which is 1.2 million litres. And also, we've been mowing some grass, and we filled that bunker silo over there, and that is 1.5 million. So, we did grass, so we mowed the entirety of 41 and 42 that's why we've been a bit busy since we last saw each other a few hours have been passed and yeah so corn let's go my notes here yeah corn we got 1.5 million litres minus 50,000 which somehow managed to spill over here don't ask me how it's got over here we do not know uh, it's not like we can have ease of access to it to pick us up, so yeah, so we did that. So 1.5 million litres is corn chaff, and 1.2 million litres that's in the silo is grass, but we've got some more grass in storage. 306,000 litres, so we got 1.5 million litres of grass mode from 41 and 42 and if you have a look at the price of silage where is that sent to at the moment 468 at livestock barn 360 at the pga still that's good that's pretty consistent but of course we can get digestate from that and digestate on the other hand is selling as okay at sort of yard it's queued up to 2.6k so in theory if we get the 3 million litre, sorry, 2.7, yeah, 3 million litres of soy which will be producing. We put it to the biogas plant over, I think, a couple of days. We should get about, oh, so just over 32 million, about 700 grand from that, roughly. Then we'll get some digestive from that. I'm not sure if it's one-to-one -one ratio, I can't remember the top of my head. I very much doubt it's a one to one, but wherever we get, you'll sell the digest data and we can either make another million on top of that just from the digest state alone. So, and this thing here, the, these two well empty size compressors have been miraculous at doing their job. So, if we get, there we go, that, open the tab. Turning is a bit of an issue, but it's just go back and forwards. And compared to with lots of weights, this does not take long at all. Yeah, about one and a half percent per little pass that we're doing. Raise it up and go on an angle. Go and know that. Get more of a compaction. It hasn't pre really gone down like the pile hasn't recompacted really more. Because what I basically did was I initially just dumped it at the back of the bunker side clamp and yeah I just kept on stacking and stacking it and then drove this up here and started compacting it. See here 68, 69, we hit 70 when we get back here. And yeah, see so compared to the weight, so I'll take a couple of little passes, just get 1% of that. So well then I'll get a bit more if we use the Steiger, or if we use um, the John D that we got the 9RX 2021 version with the weights at the front and back, but just for this little thing here, actually not too bad. 
It's a very handy little thing. That's why we've got, I think we've got weights in the shoulder. I know we've got weights at the front. I've got weights on the rear. I think we have. I could be wrong on that. But yeah, so I'm going to quickly get here done. This is only going to take a couple of minutes. And then we'll come back and we'll look at getting the rest of the harvest started in. Because we've got a lot to do. Always got soybeans to do, and then in the next episode or two, we will be doing potatoes. Yeah, sort of like, as I saw it before, divulging on potatoes and that. I think this episode will be going out Monday morning at some point now, just looking at the time frame and that. There's quite a few things to do tomorrow, so I haven't got much time to, oh sorry, today, on Sunday, to edit this. So yeah, this will be out on Monday morning at some point, and then I plan to do an episode on Wednesday. And then Friday, and then we'll round off Sunday, hopefully, touch wood. And I'm pouring anything going on. And with Ravenport, I'm going to do... Some days I may do some double episodes, like one episode will be Ravenport, and the other one will be Aston Park. But I'm just going to go with the flow and just see how each video produces now. So just see what the flow is. With Ravenport, it does not not take as long as... Animal Park, like Animal Park, these, these episodes take me full. Like the prep work to do everything off camera, like the planting overnight, and just. I suppose it took longer than planned with the planting because obviously it's at night, we had a rough spot, so it really annoyed me. I think all in all, with the little harvests we did, the potato planting, that's the one. Potato planting does take a long and the harvest ain't going to be much better either, but yeah. The prep work that we did prior to recording, well I did record this, uh, that took me about two and a half, three hours to do it. And mowing the grass and getting it all picked up and that and putting it here. Actually that took me for another good two and a half, three, two and a half hours I think. Yeah, I know you got pretty much wherever the last clip was because I you know, a couple of hours apart and recording this and yeah I think yeah about three hours because we started about about nine half nine um in game time uh, we've just been non-stop since actually yeah, about yeah close to three hours so yeah that is compacted may lose a bit on the side don't lose too much please we okay, lost a little bit but we can pick it up with the minimum machine We'll cover that up. Oh, glitched into there. And then we'll drive over to the other one so that get that compacted and get that covered up. So yeah. As I saw, was gonna say before, I'm gonna quickly get this done and I'll see you folks in just a moment. Hey right, folks, so yeah, that is all done, it's all compacted and we picked some of the chaff up that was on the ground and from that alone we got 25,000 years of chaff that was spilled over. So that's been put in storage, we can use that next time for when we do when slash if we do our next storage hole. But for now we're going to take this wheat that we got from one of the fields, we also got barley to sell as well. The barley is stored at the moment in the green cart, or the old wagon. I think that's a hefty amount. That was from. I don't know which fill that was from. But, hey, don't beep at me. I'm trying to reverse here. Yep, oh, tip away. I. Right. Let go. Hold on. There we go. It's a bit fizzly turning in here with a massive semi, but it is a doable. So we'll go and unload the raw meat. We'll go. Yeah, so stay. Get about 20 grand, 25. Yeah, 20 grand, that was right the first time. We're going to turn that off for the moment and we're going to pick up the barley. I guess we could use this for our animals. Shoot. So I think it's just the chickens that requires wheat or barley. 
chickens the wing and barley. Or no, the pigs also can do with some. How much wheat have we got in storage? I think about 400,000 litres, so yeah. We got enough pig food for the pigs, so we can go and sell the barley. Best place to sell the barley, besides from the farm shop, is again country store, so where to? Oh, we're only just around the corner, so yeah. We can take this down here, and then we'll go and sell the barley. And then we'll get the soybean done, we will stroll, we'll pick that up afterwards, or I want to say afterwards, we'll perhaps look at that time frame and that'll be next episode, which will be on Wednesday. As just previously stated. Oh, come on, you turn into me. You got plenty of room. Yeah, it's a bit of a slurry, you know. Nine, yeah, 96 is got like 300, 400 horsepower, I think. Yeah, I get confused between the 870 and 960. No, I shouldn't be doing this whilst driving. Yeah, 445 horsepower. The bottom 40, the old bank there is 500 horsepower, something like that. Sorry. Toggling the analog stick there. So, yeah, I think, yeah, again, decent amount for the barley. It's just changed really compared to what we've got, but getting that 20 grand will get cover the expenses, leasing, so even though we're not making. Oh, really? Man, being considerate here. Perhaps does how I'm got my beat, so that's probably why they're a bit. Off. Okay, I shouldn't really be doing that. Well, thank you. See, an actual AI who's actually helpful. Thank you, AI. And the next breath, I'm going to say, damn you, AI, but nope. Said I'm just going to. Yeah, yeah. Turn in way too late there. And don't worry, I'm going to crash into you. I see, AI do have some comments in that times, but not often, so we'll quickly get this moved over. Squeeze through, you know, thin faults, thin faults as always, here when you try to squeeze through a little tiny gap. No. Blocking that. There we go. Oh, that is super tight. Okay, I'm going to put all the out. Yeah, it's not the best place to sell it. The more is the British um, grain store, I know that's a delicate thing to also manoeuvre in. So get its position like so. Do a few little love taps, but yeah, we'll quickly get this into position. Just have to put through the gap in the bush there. Bit of finagling, but yeah, nothing too difficult for me. Yeah, I really do like this order. I think it's big, it's cheap, because I think how much it's cost it didn't really cost us that much, but I didn't it. Yeah, 64 grand compared to like, some of the base game ones, like even the coins 851 and 1051 green cards. That's a lot cheaper compared to that big one there. And that does 48, so 56 and 46, sorry, 1000 years. And 34 grand from the wheat barley there, sorry, not wheat. So yeah, 54 grand in total there, so not a bad little morning, or afternoon should I say, job. So now, what we're going to do is, we're going to start harvesting, we're going to get, actually, um, I just thought something, how many combines have you got? Three, right? One of those trays. I am going to send you back, yeah, that's the other one, that's good. We just said it back in, I don't really need it now. And we're going to buy another combine header. So we can have three harvesters on the trot going that way. We'll get the draper version with the wheels, so get the worker start on that. So yeah, I'm going to get things into position and then we'll get carry on here, shall we?
Alright you folks, so here we are. It is just gone half past three and we are done with the harvest and but it did not take out as long as I thought it was going to do. I'm guessing that's obviously would help off three excellent combines and a bit of fast farming of course. So yeah. We got the eggs loaded up and we're gonna get the wool loaded up. And we've bought oh, don't go full don't go no, don't behave. You're going on. Just push you on. There we go. Yeah, the egg pallets are because as I said before, I was eat these pallets here the metal things and the boxes have no collisions. You can pretty much just stack the pallets on top of each other, so that is what we've done. And we're gonna get the last one. Yes, there will be some normal wool and normal egg boxes being produced since obviously we've taken the bulk fillable ones, but that would be an issue for now, so if we get you on top, hopefully you can strap down. I feel like about this, you can strap from the back and strap from the side, so boom, boom, boom. Make sure it strap down, strap you down, strap you down, and strap you down. And the trailer I'm using is, I think it's the handmade trailer, um, the actual name of it is, let's go over here, uh, yeah, the Hardness TPS001 um, Lizard, I can't remember who that's by. Also what we've done is we've released the potato harvest, so we got one, mainly because obviously we can't well, we could have enough stock counts for two, but they fell quite quickly, and it can be a bit difficult to unload. So yeah, I've got one for now. If we need to get two, we'll get two. How much is the second one? Stock count wise, three slots. So yeah, we've got a bit of space. We did a bit of shifting around with some stuff that we've got to fit this in. What well, to fit the Pacific harvester in? Because that is a heavy slot count usage. And hopefully that should be a problem with FS32 coming out, obviously because on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S, the slot count is 300% more than what is currently, so I think it's like 5,000 slots, something like that on top of my head. No, sorry, I think it's 4,000, yeah, 1,300 times by 3 is 3,999, so yeah, yeah 4,000 slots, and I think on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One and S is on, uh, something like 2,200 slots, something like that. I can't remember it's off my head. So I hope that should be an issue. And obviously with obviously according to the screenshots we've got, I can't say about modern ones, but from like, basically ones which was the Vent 1000 Vario, if we got it here. Yeah, Fed 1000 Vario is 21 slots on FS19 and on FS22 that is, again, I can't remember the exact slot count on there, but it's a lot lower than 21 slots and that will make a huge difference, obviously, with everything. Also, we've put all of our equipment away for now. We've got the three X9s all nicely tucked away, along with the liquid and dry fertilizer. This will be washed before we get cracking on again. The headers I managed to put over here, so we put the draper headers alongside here. We used the combine, unfold it, and we just pushed it in, hence why you can see these sticking out of that. And this I did try to get it back as far as I can. But of course using the Enlors home cutter trader or header trader is a bit it's a bit of a I wouldn't say it's a faff, but obviously you can tell it's not perfectly aligned, it could do with going over a few inches, but getting that perfectly lined up is a bit of a hassle. I didn't want to push it back, risking knocking it off, but so yeah, I'm going to leave that there. And next episode, prep work, we're going to sell the eggs and wool, and also sell the milk. How much milk we've got? 160. Yeah, 270,000 litres. Horse, horses, we need to ride them today. They're doing well at the moment. And the pigs, they can do some corn. We'll plant corn, as we said we was going to do. 
And what about Minyor and Suri in that? 300,000 litres of Suri, 83,000 litres of Minyor. Obviously, Minyor would be very recently done. Higgs, Horia, 20,000 and 85,000 respectively. And Bromt Farmhouse, 108 and 23. So, yeah. Also, they can do with a bit of a clean swell. So, yeah, we'll get that all smacked out. And let's go to the horse pen. I think we can hand off the episode with the horses. So, we'll go to the horse pen. But, yeah, they're doing well at the moment. They're. Why didn't we ride you? Um. There we go. <laughs> yeah, for some reason, wasn't that me? Yeah, so let me, um, right there. I know sometimes it's a bit iffy in that, but, yeah, so. I'm going to do that next episode, and we may harvest some potatoes. They could be ready. I know field 6 will be, no, 36, sorry, will be ready today. At some point, so how is that looking at the moment, growth wise? Yeah, that's in its last growth state, so that will be ready anytime soon. This will be ready tomorrow, I think. But yeah, that's going to be it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you have, smash that button, feel free to go down below, and if you want to share some, please be my guests. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider us for pushing for 2000 subs. But for what I choose to do, hope everyone has a nice day. But for now, this is me, Farmer Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.